Dear students, welcome to this module on guest cycle. The main function that takes place in the front office department is to support and facilitate all guest transactions and services. Therefore, the operation of the front office department is determined by the type and number of guest transactions that take place during different stages of guest stay in the hotel. This is explained in this guest cycle module. A typical hotel stay can be divided into four distinct phases, namely pre-arrival, arrival, occupancy and departure. Now, we will see the objectives of this module. After learning this module, you will be able to understand the different activities that take place in the hotel by the hotel staff to the guests at different phases of the cycle namely number one pre-arrival, number two arrival, number three occupancy and number four departure of the guests. So totally we have four stages in this guest cycle. And also this will coordinate the various services that take place in the hotel by the various departments. Now we will see what happens in each phase in short. So now in the first phase of the guest cycle, reservations is the important and the vital task that happens between the hotel and the guest. Now in the second phase, the arrival, upon the arrival of the guest, we seek the check-in process with the help of doorman, porters, registration take place, the room assignment and also the uh, uh, guests are escorted to the rooms. And in the next phase of the stay or occupancy, here we have number of transactions that the guest may occur, guest may need during stay of the guests namely the currency exchanges, safe deposit lockers, telephone calls, guest accounts will be maintained by all departments so that it is taken into a software. And in the last phase of the guest cycle during the departure, we see different activities are coordinated by the lobby services like baggage handling of the guests, transportation to the lounge, settlement of bills which happens in the checkout process is all coordinated by the front office department with the help of other staffs of other departments during this complete phase of this guest cycle. Now the first step is pre-arrival phase. Reservations is the vital process that take place during this process of pre-arrival that is much before the guest arrival. The operator as soon as he or she receives the call transfers the call to the reservation staff. The way the reservations is assistant handles is very crucial because this is the first moment that the hotel guest and the hotel staff contacts. First, we need to ascertain whether the rooms are available on a particular date or not. If the rooms are available, then we can make a booking and confirm the process. It is a practice that all necessary details are recorded in the reservation form by the reservation staff. Like we have information such as name of the guest, date of arrival, date of departure, mode in which they travel, whether they need transfer from the airport if, it, if their transport is by air and type of room required, type of meal plan and also the number of the guests, contact number of the guests, email, fax and payment details. For example, guests may wish to settle the bills by cash or credit card sometimes. Any other requirements like the banquet arrangements, conference requirements could also be discussed during this process of reservations and clearly recorded by the reservation staff during the reservation process. Immediately after this reservation is done, a written confirmation is sent to the guest with all details discussed so that if there are any discrepancies, this can be modified then. And if we suppose, if we do not have rooms for the guests, we may have to refuse the guest room upon the request, but we can still retain the customer that we do not have a room on a particular date or a particular moment, but should we have some cancellations, we can avail the room for you. At this stage, it is essential to notice that the following stages of the guest cycle under three different systems do not conflict with each other. For example, we will have to finish the reservations and see whether rooms are available once when the guest comes. This all will happen in the earlier stage of the guest cycle which is the 
pre-arrival phase. Now we will move on to the next phase, the second phase of the guest cycle which is more important than the earlier phase which is the arrival phase. So in this arrival phase the guest is already with us and the guest is arrived and now the front office staff is ready to take all check-in process. The services are offered and facilitated by the front office staff at this arrival phase comprises supporting the guest if the guest has arrived at the airport the airport representative receives them with the placard guides to the vehicle makes them comfortable and sends them to the hotel now the next work is taken over by the doorman who is smartly dressed opens the doors and helps uh, with the help of the bellboys assist the luggages of the guests to the reception now the receptionist takes over and welcomes the guest with a simple smile and once the guest identifies themselves usually with their passport or a credit card or any other identification cards that they possess with them. And now the registration process has to happen with the guest where the guest is requested to fill the registration form by themselves. The registration form contains details such as the reservation of uh, details already that is done, name of the guest and all other details and it is signed by the guest who is with us. Now the facilities of the hotel are explained in brief and bellboy escorts to the room after the rooms are assigned. Here the bellboy explains the features of the room in the guest as soon as he takes the guests into the room. So these all happens in few seconds and minutes so that the guest is not allowed to wait for a longer time at the front desk after a long journey. Now the next phase is very much important as the guest stays with us in the occupancy phase. So this third phase is said as occupancy or stay phase. Now once in the hotel most of the guest interactions will take place with the guest relations officer. The guest relations officers are one of the most crucial people in the hotel as they come across a varieties of guests, the simple guests and also the crucial guests. It is in fact a great place to start a career in hospitality as a guest relations executive. So now we will see what are the qualifications that a guest relations executive should have. So usually as we talk about this service sectors, the person should be well groomed, the person should have a good communication skill and necessarily the willingness to help all guests and also here the person should serve as salesperson and you should have good knowledge of all the products available in the hotel and also knowledge about the surroundings that is the city, the local uh, sightseeing places and so on must be all well known by the guest relations executive to be told to the guests whenever required and also the knowledge about the local culture, festivals, traditions which the guests from other countries and outside cities will prefer to know about this place. And guests will ask the most ridiculous questions and should be prepared as far as possible to handle all situations very much diplomatically and also with patience. While in the hotel, the guest will experience the various facilities at the hotel, especially the food and beverage departments where food is served in the restaurant or in the cafes and also sometimes in the room as room service and also the other services that support or the conference halls, the banquet halls, laundry services, fitness centers, business centers, entertainment facilities and knowingly or unknowingly from various impressions about the hotel which will lead to the decision of the customer to come back again during the next visit to the hotel. This all is done during this phase of the occupancy phase where the guest decides the quality of the services given by the hotel. And this is the time to win the customer for repeat business so that the guest comes again and again to the hotel repeatedly. Now we will move on to see the next phase, the last phase of the guest cycle. Once the guest stay is over, the guest stay may be very short or may be long or it may be within the check-in, check-out done on the same day. So now this is the phase of the guest to check out that is depart from the hotel 
this happens as departure phase at this time of departure the guest returns to the reception and returns the key the bill is presented by the front office staff the guest checks the bill thoroughly and clarifies if there are any doubts that he or she may have and makes the payment the payment process may be as return in the registration form and the reservation form already either as cash or credit settlements all these details is done checked at the checkout process the checkout process should be completed as soon as possible without any delay to the customer once the cashier gives the go ahead to say the checkout is complete the bell boy assists with the luggage of the guest the guest is driven to the airport again so this is how there is a cycle of activities guest transactions and services that takes place within all these phases after the guest leaves the hotel a guest history is entered with likes and dislikes of the guest the basic information about the guest so that the guest when the guest comes again to us we need not disturb him asking the basic questions like the address the telephone number mail id and so on and also this uh, requirements such as whether they require uh, lower floors meal requirements and either any other amenities in the room such as newspapers food and beverage requirements and especially the birthdays and anniversaries of the guests will be noted so that the greetings may be sent to them on these special occasions so all these data are usually recorded and updated once the checkout process is complete after the departure now we have different types of systems and facilities available in the hotels and certain hotels may, are not automated they do it um, manually and some hotels does it partly manually and sometimes partly automated and sometimes nowadays the luxury hotels and the business class hotels have fully automated through the property management softwares and now the handling of the guest in these guest cycle process may be different for different hotels according to these systems adopted now let us see what happens in a non automated system or a manually operated hotel that do not have any software or a computer they just do it through manual records now the same guest cycle process as we have discussed are a little more laborious in this case of non automated or manually operated systems this type of system is usually a traditional one followed using the records and registers and is a conventional system followed usually in a small hotel which is not at computerized and follow a complete manual recording procedure following or the activities that take place in four phases of the guest cycle at these non automated service hotels during the pre arrival phase that is much before the guest arrives this stage reservation request is introduced through loose leaves or notebooks or index cards and in this type the hotels usually accept the reservations up to 6 months and not more than that lastly it is not practical under this very system to issue reservation confirmation numbers initiate pre registration activities and prepare the occupancy forecast which is easily done through the other systems that we will later see the reason is time and money loss along with insufficient labor force is a manually conducted it all above mentioned activities and it is a laborious one and now we will see in the second phase arrival phase in a non automated hotels we will see what happens in this arrival phase the guest signs a page in this registration book or fills normally manual registration form under this very system the most widely used front office equipment is this room rack which is the registration records are inserted to serve as rack slips moreover the registration books and records shall be time stamped as an internal control proving when the guest exactly came and who registered lastly guest folio shall be open for each registered guest and it is all recorded in pages as loose leaves in the registration record so after this process is done guest is escorted to the guest after assigning the room 
Now in the third stage of occupancy that is stay phase, the registration record shall be prepared with multiple copies. In fact, one copy shall be distributed to the room rack section and other stamped to the guest folio and other given to the switchboard operators and final copy handed to the uniform service personnel. So like this all staffs will have the record of how many guests and who are the guests to stay with us on a particular day. Lastly the guests with charge privileges cards and payments shall post the respective guest folios. So this all happens manually. Now during the last phase of the guest cycle that is the departure, the cashiers settle each guest accounts manually and request all outstanding balances from other departments such as if the guest has had food from the restaurant or a coffee from coffee shop, all bills comes together into the front desk and this all will be accumulated for all the bills to be added as guest folio. Moreover, cashiers shall notify the housekeeping department that is the room is no more occupied so that there is no late charges that is left off without being added into the bill. The room status change to let this very department clean the room and prepare for the rooms for the next arrival. In addition, cashiers shall remove room rack slips from the room racks to indicate the departure that is the guest has checked out of the room. Lastly, these very rack slips of the departed guest that is the checked out guest shall be filled in cardboard box to serve as a guest history record. So this is how all these process take place manually with the manpower working 24 hours a week without any service delay so that the guest is helped throughout. Now we will move on to see in the next system which is the semi-automated systems so which is very much popular in most of the hotels in India where partly computers are used, softwares assist and partly is handled by the manual power. This very system is less common in small and medium sized hotels. For these very hotels financial wise might not afford the huge investments associated with installation of different hardwares and softwares. The main advantage of this very system over manual system is that various reports can automatically be generated and can be distributed. However, the major disadvantage also occurs with this system where it says various complexities of operations and controlling devices are available due to the fact that these equipments are not integrated with other systems and are subject to fragment maintenance problems. Now, in this case of semi-automated systems, we will see what happens at each phase again. Now, there is little change that we have seen in the earlier system where everything was manual but now here we will see that the partial work is done by the manpower and partial it is taken over by the computers. At this very stage guests can either call a national reservation network or directly contact the hotel. Moreover the reservation clerks can prepare pre-registration records, guest folios and information rack slips. Now the second phase on the arrival phase, this stage already is reserved guests shall verify their pre-registration forms and have only to sign it. On the other hand walk-in guests that is the chance guests who do not make any prior reservations shall complete a multiple copy registration record as it happens from the beginning. The third phase which is the occupancy phase is here what happens is in order to track the different guest transactions, expenditures and all the possible guest transactions, hotels get an intensive use of various kinds of vouchers that is the bills from the different departments. The hotels moreover widely use equipments under this stage is the mechanical cash registers and the front office the posting machines. Lastly, under this very stage, night auditors are continuously available to resolve any discrepancies and efficiently solve the guest problems and also tally all the guest folios. 
the last phase which is the departure phase so this is the phase where cashiers shall rely on the room status information by the housekeeping department moreover they should place the registration records of the departed guests in the property's guest history file so here comes the mix of manual and also the computerized systems now we see to the next last system which is usually followed in most of the business hotels and the luxury hotels is the fully automated systems where the number of manpower is completely reduced and here we see that the type of fully automated systems of the guest cycle is adopted in almost all luxury hotels business hotels where the hotel is fully computerized with all updated versions here there are many advantages like just have all services done in fraction of seconds starting from the pre arrival phase till the departure phase of the guests the first stage which is the pre arrival phase the reservation department is equipped with the software package which is interfaced and connected with one or more central reservation office moreover the reservation department can automatically generate letters of confirmation produce requests for guest deposits and handle pre registration activities for all types of guests either the check in or the chance or the walk in guests and generate the daily expected arrival list occupancy list and also forecast the revenue for the day which is all done through the softwares now as soon as the guest is entering into the hotel that is guest is arrived at the hotel the arrival stage here the various reservation records are transferred to the front office department and hotels here are equipped with online credit authorizations check out terminals check in terminals lastly all guest charges and payments are saved in the electronic guest folios so once the number is generated it tracks into all services that the guest uses at different phases of the stay of the guest as far as walk ins are concerned all the registration activities should be initiated from the very beginning as in the other cases now as soon as these uh, check in process is done the guest starts staying which may be very short for hours or it may extend even for days together so under this stage the guest purchases guest transactions guest services at different revenue outlets are electronically transferred and posted to appropriate guest account under that guest folio moreover the front office department can run and process continuous trial balance and therefore eliminate the tedious work for the night auditors to see for discrepancies if any because there are no chances of discrepancies in such transactions so all these happens then and there without any delay or no chances of late charges and the other charges as in the case of the other systems now during the departure phase the cashiers can automatically produce bills at the end and send to various guests with direct billing privileges and create electronic guest history records and the guest folio is continuously updated by itself so these all happens in a fully automated system in many hotels follow such system now we will see an example of how a guest cycle is handled in a hotel in coimbatore that is hotel heritage inn the pre arrival activities comprises the basic reservation activities with a well equipped software called as win amp and is installed for reservation process they get the registration through mails online directly by the guest as well as through agencies and also websites for example we have websites such as make my trip oyo booking.com so all such reservations are directly entered into this web folio and also the reservations through fax telephones and so on here the duty of the front desk assistant is to make the reservations check the mail and update the room status and the place for reservation so as to inform the availability of the rooms to the guest 
there are three systems one for reservations one for billing and the other for checking mails and the other sorts of reservation they check the room availability and inform the guest as early as possible after the reservation process is done the guest gets a message containing the reservation number and the reservation code so this is used for further informations so this all happens in the pre arrival stage where the reservation code number is generated for a particular guest now the next stage which is the arrival phase so the activities in this arrival comprises of welcoming the guest by the security and the doorman receives the guest with the baggages completes the check in formalities at the reception desk assigns the room to the guest by checking the room status for example all vacant and clean rooms are assigned to the guest keys are issued to the guest normal key and no electronic keys were used here and luggages are then transported from the reception to the guest rooms usually here a common procedure of handling the heavy luggages are done by putting them in the store room first and are then tacked and so that the guest baggages are sent to the room when the reception desk is not at peak so all this happens as soon as the guest has arrived in the arrival phase so now in the third phase what they do is the activities in this stage the phase of this occupancy phase includes all services offered to the guest during this phase of the guest provide all requirements of the guest during the stay gets all information from the guest and convey the informations and services available in each department and make the work easier solve the complaints and issues made by the guest if any during this day maintains the guest accounts from different departments and tally the accounts is all done during this phase and also the facilities such as safe deposit lockers currency exchanges are all done with changes and given within 2 hours and now the last stage the departure activities the activities in the departure phase that is the check out of the guest includes do a quick and efficient check out formalities settle the bills and tally the amount and collect the money from the guest enquires about the stay in the hotel also asks for the their future stay and if there are any future reservations ask for suggestions and get the feedback from the guest escorts the guest from the room to the reception and then from the reception to the parking area carries the luggages and transports it to their vehicles and finally the guest departs and thanks giving is done receiving the feedback request if there are any future reservations so this is how the reservation activities the guest cycle activities take place in different process of the guest cycle much prior to the guest arrival and till the guest departs from the hotel so now we will see as a conclude to this module it is a very interesting process since every guest cycle is different and varied based on the guest perceptions and expectations because they keep varying the front office as we all know is the nerve center for any hotel and is the center of all guest transactions where the guest may ask for any information they require the front office staff plays a multiple role as sales person reference point quick decision maker problem solver information provider and many other roles to create a good long impression of the hotel this starts right from the pre arrival phase that is even before the arrival of the guest and continues at each and every service offered to the guest during the arrival stay and also during the check out process that is the departure phase of the guest cycle therefore it is the duty of all the staff and especially the front desk staff to customize the guest requ requests and services and also see that guest occupancy is maximized and in turn earn a higher revenue to the hotel hope you enjoyed the module thank you